Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q4 of the Weekly Contest 390, Longest Common Suffix Queries. Hit the like, pr uh, like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem in the comments. And yeah, let me know what you think. Um, so this one, I, f to, um, I end up spending about seven minutes or so. Um, to be honest, I was a little bit... Um, I think I was just a little bit uh, sketched about it, to be frank. And what I mean by that is just that it feels pretty straightforward, but I don't know. I've, I've just been wrong so many times in the past that I think I'm just a little skittish and kind of wanted to double check. But but I think um, there is a, there's only one misdirection here, which is the suffix query, right? Uh, the suffix actually doesn't, like if you kind of read it all the way through, the first thing you notice is that you just kind of need, you don't care about the suffix as much. Um, because it has to be a pure suffix, you can actually just reverse every word. And when you reverse every word, then now you could use, a, you know, you could use a standard try or, you know, a try is called prefix tree as well. Um, so you have a try. This is literally what it's built for. So that's it. That's, um, that's pretty much it. So then for each, each query, you just go through the try. Uh, I think there are a couple of ways you can do it. And, and the, um, um, the way that I did it conceptually, I think it's very clean. So I'm going to go over the code really quickly. Um, I don't really, um, one thing that I am trying to be a little bit better about, it, or one thing I want to make a disclaimer first is that um, when I do these try problems during, during the daily problem, or even when I'm an interview, just to be clear, if I'm doing an interview as an interview E, um, I would probably write the cleaner code or not necessarily cleaner code, or it is cleaner, but it is clean in the sense of OOP because what you want to do is you want to have a try, you want to have nodes, you want to have functions on the try and nodes, and then kind of have all these abstractions to clean it up, right? But for me, I um, just to show you, uh, my optimization is to solve it as soon as, as, as quickly as possible, right? Uh, trying to get it as seven minutes as possible, I guess. Um, and yeah, so keep that in mind. My apologies. But yeah, but basically the way that I did it, and I think it may be a little bit different than people, maybe not, um, is that I have this thing called node, a node class. Basically, I have a lookup. This is just, I don't know, I call everything a lookup. It's, it's not a real word for me. <laughs> so, but yeah, but basically the idea is just that, you know, you can map every character to look up like a try. I'm not going to go over uh, what a try is in this video. I hope that's okay because... You know, you can look up, look it up. Uh, but when I mean a try, I mean try. Just in case if you are a beginner, do, do uh, I don't know, do a YouTube search on this and check out the video, check out videos. I mean, I'm sure there, um, you know, there are a lot of resources on try, so I'm not going to get into it. And I don't think this is a very different application of it. So that's why I think, I think a lot, someone told me that a lot of people have solved this already. So I don't know. Um, but, but nonetheless, um, but yeah, nonetheless, this is the, uh, the thing, right? Is that, um, using a try, like I said, for, for every word on the word container, I re reverse the word and I kind of do this thing. Um, I don't know if this is the best way to do it, honestly. I mean, I guess complexity wise, this is actually worse, I'm not gonna lie, but I wanted to kind of handle it in the cleanest way possible. Possible. Uh, so code-wise, this is clean, cleaner. But uh, but complexity-wise, maybe it's a little bit sloppy. Now, or well, not sloppy. It's just it's a choice, right? But it's just a little bit slower. I'm just going over the time real quick, just to make sure. So 1.4 seconds, not too terrible. But uh, but yeah, I just want to make sure that that's understood. And the re and the reason why I did it this way is for less code. But like I said, you know, it's a little bit slower. We'll go over it. But but the idea here is that now I sort by the length. And then the index, the index actually, uh, uh, because these are the things that, you know, they tell you to sort by in the, in the problem, right? Oh yeah. So, so after I did that, this sort, then now I can put the best word in root. Um, and then for, because now, so the reason why I just did, did this sorting is that now when you create the try while you're creating the try, the first time you create a node, a new node, that new node is always going to be the answer, right? Uh, meaning that if, 
if or that word is always going to be the answer for that node that you're creating now because it already is sorted. I mean, you know, uh, so that's pretty much the idea. Um, and I, I get that it, it's a little bit more expensive computationally and complexity wise, but so, but then now, you know, look at this code for, for, for try construction, right? It's about, it's 10 lines. And he, here it is, it just sets the, um, the first word is gonna be the best answer. And I, this is the index, right? Keeping in mind that this is the word and the index and the word is already reversed. So for every word and index, we start at the root, and then for every um, every character, we just traverse the try. If it is not in lookup, we create a new node, and we and this is the key part where we set the best answer is equal to index, and then we traverse the node, and we keep on going. You know, this is a regular try, um, pretty standard stuff. And then the second part for the word query, it is just also pretty standard, right? So yeah, so for every query, we reverse the word. We start at the root, and then we just set the best answer to the the um, the root node's best, and then we for each character, if we cannot traverse, then we're done. That means that we're not matching any words, right? Otherwise, we traverse. After we traverse, we update the best to the current's best, right? So, yeah. So we so the answer for me is that we store each the 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 best answer at each node, which is kind of hinted at this node pass, and that's basically it. Um, yeah, so let's go over the complexity really quick because I think that's the only thing that is a little bit suboptimal about this. But you can see that, like, you know, this is the whole code minus the node code. So, it's, you know, it's pretty tight for that reason. Um, so, yeah, so let me just write try construction and then uh, answering queries, right? And, yeah, so then now uh, maybe you could pre-process the words, right? So, so this is all linear time, right? You just, you know, you just go through the, the words and then you just do a minimal thing. This is the expensive part. This is going to be O of n log n for the number of words. Um, yeah. The try is going to be linear in terms of the size of n, kind of. I mean, I say kind of because it's, it's technically the sum of all the number of characters and all the words uh, and the same, which I think they put here, right? So, yeah, sum of length of all the words so that's going to be the, that complexity but roughly speaking let's just say called of n and then answering queries this is going to be all of q again this is technically the sum of all the characters and all the key all the queries but eh, roughly speaking is good enough so yeah so but as you can see this is going to be dominated by n log n plus q right so here it is o, o of n log n plus q time and o of n plus q Maybe not even Q. Oh, you do need Q for the space for the answer. So, yeah. Um, so, if you did not do this sorting, and you don't have to, um, then you would have a lot more if statements going through this list, which is what my trade-off is. Um, if you did not sort this, then you have to do some if statements about, like, the current index. Uh, I guess the current index, you don't have to. But then you have to do, like, the, the comparison about the length and stuff like that, and more if statements. And this is why I kind of sorted it. Um, so, I didn't... I thought it was easier to write um, for the trade-off a little bit slower. Um, but yeah, one, so yeah, um, with, without, oops, without sorting, you can uh, improve this to n plus q time, right? Um, yeah, that's why I have this one. And, you know, like I said, I'm optimizing for, well, I, I want to say that I'm optimizing for coding speed and, you know, submission speed. But part of that submission speed is not making silly mistakes, which I'm known to do, to be frank, made a lot of silly mistakes. Um, so this is why I kind of chose it this way during the contest. I kind of, yeah, gave it a, a little bit of a thought about it, but, hmm. but yeah. Uh, okay, that's why I have this one. Let me go, oh, let me show you the code from the top. And then from the bottom, we're going to pause or whatever. And I'll even show it once more, just a little bit smaller so you could get a, okay, that's not it. Okay, that's most of the code uh, in one page, and then the top with the node. Uh, okay, close enough, right? Um, but yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment, please. And yeah, you could watch me solve it live during the contest. Now, go. I find a button to click on it. Oh, wow, people are already done. Hmm. Longest common suffix query. This seems like one of those dubious 
string problems again. All right, which container and which query? People already got it, so it should, should be doable, if not fast. Longest common suffix with which query? Smallest finder. Okay, maybe. So CD is, is one, okay. BCD is also one. X, Y, Z. Uh, that's a little bit awkward, but okay. I mean, this is just a regular try, but backwards, people already got it. So. GH, do, 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 okay. I wish I was better at try. Um, okay, that's good. Yeah, I don't think there's any. I, I'm just trying to find counter cases in my head, but. I think we're okay. Do I have a try class? Hmm. I feel like I need this part, I need to copy people a little bit better. But. Yeah. Is unknown. <sighs> a little bit, a little bit slow about it today. Now we want to sort this first. Yeah, Length and then thing, right? So yeah, so we could just um, the length, the smallest, and then index, right?
12. Huh. Alright, load this, but leave that in. One one two oh two uh, YOLO. Yeah, I mean that was pretty okay. We'll see where I finished. Yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, leave a comment about what you think about this poem, this contest, everything in between. Uh stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.